Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be unboxing and looking over the Levoit Core 600S air purifier. So let's get in here and take a peek. It literally just dropped off five minutes ago by UPS, so I'm very excited. This is my second product from Levoit. That up already I'll be putting up a review of that product which was the humidifier and I've had such good luck with it I thought I'd give this company another shot so we get a little package of warranty information and a manual some more packing junk and here it is not much to the box that's it folks just some more packing stuff inside and let's open her up. Yeah, like I was saying with the humidifier, it does a really good job. It's a smart appliance, just like this one here, which means you can operate it from an app on your phone, iPhone and Android. Or in the case of these two, the humidifier and the air purifier, you can actually have it work with your smart home, either Google or Alexa. So, a couple stickies. I know from experience, this just twists off like that. And then you've got a true HEPA filter. these from the store uh, about once a year they recommend and there's a sticky on top here so we'll just take that off that covers the control panel and then in replacing this you can just snap it back into place like that it's that easy so I'll plug it in glance through the manual and We'll come back, take a look at the operations of it. So hopefully the setup on this will be as easy as it was on their humidifier. On the air purifier, basically just hit the power button, hold it for about five seconds, until you see the little Wi-Fi light start flashing blue. And then we're gonna go to the app and pair it. Okay, so the air purifier is in pairing mode, as indicated by the flashing Wi-Fi indicator. Then we're going to tap on add a device. It's checking out my Wi-Fi. So we're going to pick my network, plug in the password. And connect. During this process, do not turn off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or your devices in the V-Sync app. It is configuring the device. Congratulations, I've earned 20 points by adding a smart device. So go get it. All right, that's fine and dandy. We'll say done. Uh, I got a notification from you know who that the Lavoit Smart True HEPA air filters online. Um, we're gonna add the skill for that later but you can give voice commands to your air purifier um, the humidifier if you have one and a lot of the Lavoit products so there it is down at the bottom those are your controls um, Lavoit HEPA filter purifiers on the left we're going to tap on that and it's already showing that the power is on um, there's new firmware I'll update that in a moment but for now it's Skip that step and as you can see it's running my PM 2.5 levels are at 1 which is very good uh, you can set it to auto you can change 
fan speed levels. And it's pretty quiet as far as air purifiers go. Now it's on speed four. You can definitely hear it, but I mean, if you burnt a meal or if you had to deal with forest fires like we do occasionally in central Oregon, then hey, blast it on level four until, the, until it cleans up the air. And then of course there's a sleep mode. That's gonna turn off the panel lights and put it down in quiet mode. So, yep, if you look down at the bottom here, you can schedule it. You can add dates and times that you want it to turn on and turn off. And if you go back, uh, power button's right there in the middle. Turn it off. And the screen goes dark. Turn it on screen lights up and then there's a timer at the right hand side um, pretty basic you just set the number of hours and minutes you want it to run it might be handy to run at night um, pretty cool though if you have notifications activated and it detects your air is getting unhealthy it'll let you know so that you can go over there and turn it on or if it's set to auto it'll turn on by itself so there's the timer stop that and go back to the main screen but it basically always gives you the uh, indoor PM 2.5 level which is 5 and if you look at the top it tells you the area I live in which is Larkspur that's a little community in Bend Oregon and to the right of that it says outdoor the PM 2.5 is a 9 so it's pretty nice today out a lot of times this time of year we get a lot of smoke pollution from the forest fires, but not so today. So that's it. We'll go back, take a look at the buttons on the control panel on the machine itself. So I've been letting this run for a while. And after probably a couple hours, I guess, got it down to a one on the PM 2.5 scale there. And the blue rings means that the air here is Excellent. Uh, those rings change color to show you the air quality of your home. Uh, from blue, it'll go to green, which is good. From green, it'll go to orange, not so good. And then red, which is an air hazard. So, uh, as far as the buttons go, this is your manual speed control. The one light is slow, two lights is medium. Three is fast, and then if you look at that fourth one with the arrows going around, that's turbo, which is very fast. Right here is auto. It's in auto mode. It's going to look at the air quality, and the uh, fan speed will be based on that. It will not get up to turbo mode. Um, if it detects poor air, it goes up to high. However, just the opposite, it will go lower than your slow speed, which is where it's at right now. It'll go down to the speed that's used on the sleep mode, which I can't hear. It's, it's completely quiet. Might be able to hear it if I put my ear up against it. But, uh, so that's the auto button. That's going to be really, really handy. This is my only air purifier that has that feature, and I really like it. So we'll go back to manual. Uh, over here is the display. Over here is a display on and off. Just turns the lights off, that's all. This is a lock button, so if you press and hold it for I think three seconds or five seconds, it'll turn on the lock indicator and none of these buttons will work. So you can press whatever you want and it just, it just flashes keeps kids from coming over here and playing with it. So you just press and hold that again, and that lock indicator turns off. Power button, obviously. That little thing right there is a light, an ambiance sensor. So the fan will downshift also when it gets dark. Um, it detects that you may be going to bed, and it's dark in the room, the fan gear is way down. If it's bright or room light, It'll continue on whatever setting you've got in manual or auto. And over here is the uh, 
over here is your timer. You can press and hold that and go through anywhere from 1 to 12 hours. And cycle back. Or if you hold it, you can zip through there real quick. And then this one over here is to reset this little light. So next to the blue Wi-Fi light is a check filter light that will come on. Not sure if that's based on a time range, an amount of time that goes by, or if it actually detects that the filters are getting dirty. But when that comes on, you need to check and clean your filter, and that just resets the light. That's all. And then last but not least, you got nighttime mode or, or sleep mode, I guess you could call it. And when it's in sleep mode, it's going to gear down to a speed just slower than slow if you were using the manual fan. And as you can see, the lights all turn off. So that's a perfect mode to use at night. Um, if the filter light comes on, that one does not turn off. It'll still stay on on night mode. But everything else turns off so you can get a good night's sleep. And then pressing any button afterwards will bring them back on. So that's about it. Um, so like you saw, you can use the app and do just about everything. Or you can control it from up here on the top console as well. Yeah, I think if we go to manual, yeah, that'll disable my mode. But it's pretty cool. I'm really liking it so far. It's done a good job. Um, I can't remember what it was when I first plugged it in, but it wasn't a one. It was probably around five or six. I'll have to go back and look. But yeah, it's been keeping the room now at a nice, clean, refreshing one. So, anyway, that's the Levolt Air Purifier, the Core 600S. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, a thumbs up, and be sure to share the video and subscribe. Thank you so much. We'll see you again soon.